You're listening to JTE Movie News. There are a lot of sources for movie news out there, so why not get yours from a guy in a basement? And now, here are your hosts, Andres Ace Cabrera and every man's hero, JTE. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new, all new episode of JTE Movie News. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say Ken, once again, knocked it out of the park with my intro. Yeah. Introducing me, and I may as well introduce him now, my new co-host for the show, Ace Cabrera. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that Ken, I mean, he spit out my name, man. Yeah, I, that, that, he did a great job. I was like, whoa, he said my full name. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah, he said Andres Ace Cabrera. Yeah. I just call you Ace Cabrera. What it's you, it's, it's Ace. You can just call me Ace. I don't care, man. I, I like it. Um, so yeah, guys, this is it. So basically, let me talk a little bit about my idea for the show. Um, I love tweeting out. I'm always on Twitter talking about movie news. Like anytime something breaks, the Suicide Squad trailer broke the other day. Immediately, I was like, I need to get my thoughts out. That is the quickest way to get like your voice heard on social media, I believe, because Facebook will get lost. But Twitter is just a great way to t- react to movie news. Yeah. Um, throughout the years, I remember when Affleck was cast, mm. tweeted something out. When I heard the Star Wars news, I immediately tweeted something out. And I just love talking about movie news. But you know what? There's only so many so many characters you can write on Twitter, Ace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to yeah. actually talk about it. And again, this is something we usually do on the Shmozo movie show. Now, again, we're on hiatus right now. Uh, Phase 6 will be starting soon. But... Listen, we are always first and foremost on the mic, mm-hmm. um, especially me <laughs> and especially you. I mean, we're just, you know, we're there. We get a little color commentary. This is a chance for us to really just get into it, man. Let's get into get it. Get our thoughts into about the movie news. And, you know, you've been on my show a lot lately, JT yeah. Movie Thinks. Yeah. Uh, you did my Star Wars review for the trailer. Then you did one for the movie. And you're also here for the Oscar nominations. And I was like, you know what? Easy access. Easy access, man. Ace lives right next door. And, but it's not just that. You're great on the mic. Oh, thank I've gotten you, a man. lot of compliments saying, Ace is great on the mic. You oh, should have wow. on the show that, more. Yeah, that's the first I've heard, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, and people tweet Ace. His, uh, tell them your Twitter name again. Uh, it's at Squad Leader Ace. At Squad Leader Ace. I'm at Schmoes JTE. Hit us up, guys. Let us know what you think about this new episode. Hope you dig it. We're going to try to bring it to you every week. Now, listen. We're doing this for free. <laughs> We're not asking for money. So if we do miss a week here and there, it's because you and I both work full-time jobs. Full-time jobs, man. Yep. Yeah. And I think the great thing is because you're right next to me, if something like drops really big, mm-hmm. I might call you and be like, get over here real quick. We got to talk about this Suicide Squad trailer, or we got to talk about this new Star Wars trailer. And you'll probably be like, I'll be right over. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So, I'm yeah, guys. Available. While this show will come out every Friday... Uh, do expect once in a while, you know, an episode to pop up if something interesting happens. It has to be pretty big news. Yeah. It has to be something pretty major. Yeah. Like Only if, something big is going to get me out of my, yeah. my bed. So. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but yeah, all right. So the way the show is going to work is we're just going to, it's Friday. You guys are hearing us on Friday. We're recording it Thursday night. So you're going to hear all this are basically because very little movie news breaks on the weekends. Mm-hmm. So I just want to go over some of the top stories, something that you're caught your eye that you want to talk about, things that caught my eye that I want to talk about. Just give our thoughts on them, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and uh, you know maybe you'll even learn some of this stuff. Yeah. Some of this stuff I was talking to you before the show. You're like, oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, no, I really, I, I, I it's a, been a long day, so I haven't heard a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, but you know, let's start off with the big news of the week. It has to be the DC special that aired on CW. Mm-hmm. Um, now, this thing was really cool. And uh, I've been working with Kevin Smith a lot of the screen junkies. Yeah, you have. And then to see Kevin yeah. hosting this thing, I was like, oh, shit, Kevin, man. Yeah. Uh, so that was great to see him hosting it. I didn't know he was hosting it until I actually started watching it. Really? Um, so, again, I feel like we've seen a lot of Batman v Superman. A lot of people didn't love it in the last trailer. It felt like it gave way too much. And honestly, in this thing, they didn't really give away anything new. I mean, there was a couple screenshots, but nothing that I was like... There wasn't, like, exclusive footage from Batman v Superman. Yeah, no. I I really felt like they purposely were holding back for mm-hmm. the BVS stuff and promoting all the future DC stuff. We got a lot for the future DC movies, especially yes. Suicide Squad, but even and a lot the, from the other movies as well. Mainly the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Justice League was definitely mm-hmm. one there, but we saw, we saw Wonder Woman, we saw... 
uh, Aquaman, uh, uh, Aquaman. We saw Cyborg, Flash. Mm-hmm. We we got a lot of information. Yeah, but I think let's start off with the biggest thing of the whole thing was that new Suicide Squad trailer, which I immediately tweet out that I think I'm now more excited for Suicide Squad than I am Batman v Superman. I am, if you told me that on paper, I would say you're a crazy man. Let me tell you this. My my brother and I grew up on Batman and Superman. Mm-hmm. Our two favorite superheroes are Batman and Superman. We've loved these characters. We've grown up with these characters. Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series, mm-hmm. Justice League the Animated Series. We grew up with these characters. We love Batman and Superman so much. Yeah. He's actually flying out here from Phoenix so he can watch it with me here oh, in Hollywood. Nice. Yeah, that's how hyped we are for this movie. And I'm more excited for Suicide Squad, <laughs> even mean, after all that, because that trailer was amazing, and everything they're building up to seems to be just a crazy, fun action movie, that it just looks crazy. It looks like so much fun. Yeah, it has such a different style to it. Like, Batman v Superman, we've seen Man of Steel. We mm-hmm. kind of know what we're going to get with Zack Snyder. He definitely has his style. Seeing David Ayer going into this, David Ayer's always been made like these cop dramas, End of Watch, which Last is great. year's End yeah. of Watch is great. End of Watch is great, but he's also made some bad movies. Sabotage sure. was not very good. Uh, he's made some other films. That I'm like, ah, oh, that wasn't that great. Uh, I liked Fury. That was like a big step for him. But to see him go into this dark, twisted comic book world, yeah. it looks like somebody that's bringing something new to the genre. And let's just say this trailer starts off with Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, which throws you off completely. Yeah, You're but- like the first thing. <laughs> I showed so many people this yeah. trailer and when I first saw it, and they all said the same thing as soon as they heard it. Really? Bohemian Rhapsody? That's your first thing because yeah. you're doubting it. And then as you hear it, you're like, it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. It, it's, it makes it look... The first trailer was great too. That one they revealed over Comic-Con, it was much more serious and like brooding. Um, this one just really brought you the fun. And even though what you're seeing is not... Ex- like, these are not fun characters. I guess they are fun characters, but they're bad guys. Yeah. Harley Quinn, uh, Deadshot by Will Smith. Uh, the Jared Leto is a Joker. It looks mm. like... I love... I gotta tell you, man. I'm really starting to love what he's doing as Joker. I think he's... <laughs> I, I, I was mm-hmm. doubting him for a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm still not sure how to feel about the tattoos. I'll get past it. Yeah. But he looks like he's gonna kill this role. Yeah. He's killing heard, it. I've heard somebody say this around the office. The screen junkie's like... He looks like he's gonna revel in his insanity. He's having fun causing this cast. Now, like, Keith Ledger... Was, the best Joker performance, in my opinion, as of right now. Absolutely. And I doubt Jared Lowe's... I don't think he's trying to match that. He's doing something totally different. He led to, He was almost kind of calm. Like, in the in Dark Knight, he's like, are you, gonna, you know, are you crazy? He's like, yeah. <laughs> like, he just... He, the way he responds to him, he was very calm. And he felt like he was always teetering. He could explode. This Joker looks like he's ready to kick the door down, like, woo! <laughs> I mean, in the... Le- become yeah. Ric Flair. <laughs> yeah, he's basically the Ric Flair of Jokers, man. <laughs> like, he just looks like he's going to be so much fun. Like, he, every time he's on the screen, you're just going to be like, ugh. I, it's crazy. That his character as the Joker is just... It has to be, like, every actor's dream to play that role. Yeah, I mean, they definitely seem to be... I mean... Everyone knows who the Joker is. Mm-hmm. Not everyone knows who any of these other characters yeah, are. Yeah, Deadshot. So they, they, they kind of have to push Leto's performance. Mm-hmm. And that shot of him with the machine gun and him cracking yes. up was great. He's wearing the, like a tux? Yeah, yeah. And the shot of him like falling into the yeah. pit uh, was phenomenal. And I don't even know what that is, but it looks so like, cool. It looks like the ink of his jacket or something. And then it almost forms a heart. Yeah. But it's really crazy. Like it's some really interesting comic booky type images going on in this movie which i also think zack snyder i will say to his credit like even from the trailers he's all he's recreating like comic book screenshots almost mm-hmm. like there's scenes where batman where he's using grappling hook where it's like you can almost freeze frame that and, and take it out of a frank miller's the dark knight so yeah dark knight returns so yeah i'm really excited for it i think the production value looks great the tone looks awesome. Yeah. It just looks like rock and roll, man. <laughs> yeah. And, and the cast, I mean, the cast so far looks great. I, I dude, Everyone's talking about uh, Jai Courtney as Captain yeah. Boomerang, which he looks great. Uh, people are talking about Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Yeah. I love Will Smith as Deadshot. 
I know. I think that's that, to me that's such genius casting because to me I'm a I'm a fan of Deadshot mm-hmm. the character. See, I, I don't know that much about. I, him. I know a lot about him because I, I again I grew up with yeah. it and, and I know the comics well and he's such a cool character and making him Will Smith I really feel like he can kill that role. Interesting. But everyone's Harley Quinn man Harley yeah. Quinn she looks like she's gonna kill this as well. Margot Robbie looks great. Yeah, and you got what Killer Croc in there. Killer Croc. And you got El Diablo. Th- you yeah, got that Slipknot. guy's again. I don't even know who that guy is. The whole f- guy with the fire powers. Never heard of. Him. Yep, I, he's he's a very very unknown character. Yeah. I had to look him up too. So I'm really curious to see how this. So to me, that was obviously the gem of the whole thing. I mean, that trailer. I must have watched it five times at night, and I think the first thing I did when I woke up the next morning was I grabbed my iPhone. And I watched it again while I was in bed. I'm the same. So way. I was just like, I, it gets me pumped up, man. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about the special. Um, I think the most significant thing after that, like. Real quick, we'll touch on Aquaman and Flash. They didn't really show much. Uh, they showed some concept art. Yes. Yeah. but And they did interview Moa and Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller. And they got to talk a little bit about it. Yeah. But those things are so early. It's true. But I, I want to say something that, that kind of, as soon as he said it to me, was a huge indicator of what's going to, not going to happen, but what could happen. By who? As far as Flash. Oh, Flash. Ezra yeah, because he was talking about, because I wasn't sure, there's so many directions you can yeah. take Flash. There's so many Flashes. But he was talking about the, having the speed of his flash is so fast, like mm-hmm. so fast, he can literally go back in time and forward yep. in time and all that, right? Mm-hmm. But the thing about Flash is that he can also go to different dimensions yes, and different like, worlds. Yes. As soon as Ezra Miller said that, I said to myself, "Why would he say that if they're not going to do that?" Yeah, and I think the guy that was even introducing the clip, Jeff might, Johns, he's, he, he's a he's a DC legend. Legend. Man. I think oh, he yeah. was even mentioning about how they're going to do some universe type stuff with yeah, that because which which would would make this is one of those things where they can make dc so mm-hmm. wild and crazy the fact mm-hmm. that you can go back forward in time in different dimensions something mm-hmm. that not even marvel does and marvel yeah. is nuts they do some crazy stuff in their movies but mm-hmm. the fact that we could see like uh, there's a great movie uh it's an animated movie called flashpoint paradox i saw it yeah you saw it mm-hmm. see it, it's such a cool concept where you could see Flash changes one thing and he changes the entire future. Yep. Or Flash goes to a different flash. dimension. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Flash goes to a different dimension where you could see changes in something. Yeah. I can almost guarantee that something like that's going to happen in the DC Interesting. Movies. I hope so. I mean, I think it gives you a whole new playground to play with, really, in that universe. Yeah. Um, so, again, then Aquaman, I, you know, some cool concept art. I think Jason Moe could be a really badass Aquaman. Um, and it looks like from what I'm hearing, he's going to show up in Batman v Superman. That's the rumors I've heard. Yeah. I, I mean, would be surprised if he didn't. The rumors so far are Aquaman, Cyborg, which I think it's just going to be yeah, him he, playing football. Yeah. He's not going to be Cyborg. As it's just going to say stone in the back of the Jersey and he's yeah. running with the ball. Cool. He That's might it. Have like and a, then a small cameo by flash, which again could just oh, be a he, flash. Do you think he'll be have a cameo? Yeah, it's, it's a oh, rumor. Okay. It's a rumor of a small cameo by flash, mm-hmm. which again could just be a flash. And they're like, that yep. was a flash. It's going to be small stuff but but yeah man these guys are are they're building up for all these future movies in dc yeah so let's get to the last one the one actually showed footage was wonder woman Mm -hmm. um i thought this looked pretty cool man Mm -hmm. and uh chris pine i think the production value looks awesome i love it she's almost like their captain america because apparently this one's going to all take place, I think a lot of it's going to take place during World War One. Mm-hmm. So very much like the first Avenger, like you're in World War Two, and then you flash forward. We're going to see her in present day in Batman v Superman. She's mm-hmm. already been in the trailers. So when we see this movie, it's going to be like, oh, this she's kind of like the Captain America in some ways. Uh, but take away the Frozen aspect, she's just been around for a long time. Yeah. Yep. So I'm real curious to see how that plays and how similar it is to what Marvel's done with Captain America. But um, the girl who's directing it, I think it's her name. Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins, directed Monster. Um, she's a great director. I think Monster was a great film. I'm always curious once you get somebody who's that good at, like, she's only made indie films, really. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm mm-hmm. really curious. T- to see. I think she's directed some TV episodes. Yeah, right? did she do Game of Thrones, I believe, I think a couple? So, yeah. But, like, I'm looking forward to seeing how she goes from that to a huge budget film. I mean, you could say the same about James Gunn a little yeah. bit. You could no, say totally. the same about the guy who's directing Spider Man. I totally agree. Yeah, I mean, look at Mark Webb. Did a great job Mark 500 Webb. Days of Summer. Yeah, but then even, he even Mark Webb. with the Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, but then again, that was a studio. Yeah, it was probably more of a studio. Yeah. But I do have faith in her. I think she's going to pull it off. Uh, Gal Gadot, I'll admit, when I first heard, you know, she was an 
announces Wonder Woman, I was like, the girl from Fast and Furious? Mm-hmm. I wasn't really too sold, but watching some of these scenes with her with the shield and the sword in yeah. slow motion, I was like, all right. You got me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. She. It, what's great about Gal? Is, I mean, I again, we haven't seen much from her. No, we really. But haven't. she looks just like Wonder Woman. Like, yeah. Just like she looks like straight out of the comic, Wonder Woman. But I'm excited for this movie, man. This movie is a huge staple for, I mean, comic book movies in general because it's the first. I think it's the first female, female yes. led superhero We're movie. Not counting Catwoman. Not counting. No, <laughs> definitely not counting. I. Almost died watching that movie. <laughs> I understand. Wonder Woman, to me, it's the most iconic female superhero. Mm-hmm. And you have to do it well. Because yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a female mm-hmm. icon. It's a, it's a feminist icon. Like, yeah. you can't do it wrong. It's funny. In this, one of the scenes they show her, she's fighting look like some World War I soldiers. And she does, like, this slow motion hit with her shield. And it literally reminded me of a scene from 300 where he has this the chill he's like in yep. slow motion it's like wow that's such a Zack Snyder yep. influence type thing yep. so part he's of like there like, on set he's like can yeah. I direct this one yeah. thing <laughs> right but uh, again I think it could be awesome and what's so interesting about Wonder Woman is she's a she is the best fighter of all the that's Justice what... League like even when you Batman's a great martial artist and all that this lady is supposed to be the best fighter like that's if, what Jeff if, said if you take Superman's powers away she could like if there are equal powers, she could just mess him up because she's such a better fighter. Yeah, I mean that's that's what Jeff was saying, which I s- still disagree with. <laughs> oh, who do you think? Ba- Batman's the best fighter in the DC universe by but, Batman, Deathstroke, Ra's al Ghul. But I'm just saying, if you j- but Batman, Batman, he's he absorbs every single fighting style in the but freaking universe. I, maybe I would say he's a better hand-to-hand fighter, but yeah. Wonder Roman, you give her a shield Yeah, because she's, she's, she's got power and yeah. she's got strength and all and that. And I think she's probably just better with a shield and a shield. She's more like a bow, a army-tested type True. warrior. True, Where Batman's more of like a one-on-one ninja. One ninja kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. But I'm really interested to see how they differentiate her style from Superman and Batman. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to seeing um, Batman v Superman is how Zack Snyder... I want him to show us that Batman's a better more skilled fighter True. even though he's weaker yeah like i just want to see like oh because listen i love the nolan films yeah but the fight choreography wasn't the best it was okay it was okay it was serviceable and the older batman movies the guys couldn't move their necks barely so it was just kind of like mel keaton was punching and kicking i want to see a batman that could like just f shit up man yeah i, like, I straight up ninja style i agree with you 100 percent, which mm-hmm. is why i'm i still have a lot of issues with the movie what mm-hmm. i've seen so far like you you just said you want to see batman straight up ninja style how yeah. the hell is he even gonna move in that suit true i but that, everyone's that, like obsessed with how cool it is but how is he gonna move but he's that's, like stuck in his arms he, are right here that ninja shit ain't gonna help him with superman he he literally is wearing that suit because he could eat, so he could just compete with Superman. But there is a quick scene I believe in the first trailer where Batman like hits a guy, then jumps and like hits another guy with the elbow while he's oh, blocking I did a see gun. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real quick shot, but I'm like, oh, he did it so fast. That's true. Like, Ooh, that's like the Batman I want to see. True. That's true. the Batman, right? That's the uh, Arkham Asylum video game Batman yep. type moves. Yeah. I was like, it looked great. Uh, so overall. I gotta tell you, when I finished watching that whole DC thing, I was like, I'm really psyched oh, for this. Oh, you get pumped, man. I yeah. mean, Kevin Smith and Jeff Johns hype it so well. And say what you will, like, it looks different than the Marvel Cinematic it Universe. It's going for a different style. It does. And it just feels so different enough that I think, you know, both of these things obviously could coexist. I just, I'm, I'm a little worried about Batman Superman, because it is the starting off point, man. I am very worried about Batman yeah. and Superman, especially with Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Yeah. But I could go on a mm-hmm. like forty five minute rant about how that's terrible okay. in every sense of the word, but I won't do it. Okay, good. That would take up the whole episode. Yeah. Um, I will say, you know, if say Batman Superman doesn't quite live up to our expectations, mm-hmm. I think Suicide Squad might pick it right back up, and even Wonder Woman, and who knows? Because again, Zack Snyder is not directing those movies. Mm-hmm. And I think they have some really talented guys directing these other movies. So yeah. We'll see what happens, but all right. So I think that'll wrap it up for the DC portion. Let's do uh, it. We had to spend a big chunk on it because yep. that really, to me, was the biggest news of the week. It was. Uh, so let's go. I got a couple stars on lined up. I want to talk about Charlie Cox, who plays Daredevil on Netflix's Daredevil, said it would be a dream come true to show up in Infinity War. Uh, but there's also rumors going around producers saying that they wouldn't bring the TV guys in. I personally, I'm not saying he needs to have like a huge role. If he has a cameo, I'm happy. Bro. 
you have no idea how crazy I am about this. <laughs> I Why? I want I need to see Marvel TV characters pop up in Infinity War. I I am desperate to see this. And yeah. I'm not just talking about the Defenders, mm-hmm. which is the Netflix ones. Yeah. Jessica Jones, mm-hmm. Daredevil, yep. Luke Cage, uh Iron Fist. Yep. I uh, Punisher, yeah. Punisher, Electra. I'm not just talking about them, which everyone's loving them. I'm talking about freaking Marvel Agents of Shield, no. which is a great show. No, I hate that show. Have you have you seen the have you seen I watched this? the first season. No, 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 no. Watch season two. Yeah. Watch season three. I can't. This show just... is so good. And nope. I'm telling you, it's as as a fan of the show <laughs> and as a fan of Marvel TV, yeah. which I am, and as a huge TV fan in general, yeah. it it offends me that I haven't seen any like anything from the TV show inside the movies. Yeah, I mean, like, this the, guy you're is one of the first people I've talked to that actually likes like no, 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 no. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I man. heard it got better. Listen, I talked to also it got Matt, way better. Matt Key, who does Marvel movie news as popcorn talk, he's and told me, yeah, it got better. But even he's like, I understand if you can't get into it, it's a little cheesy and it's a little. Eh. This show is is such a fun show, man. And to <laughs> me, I want to see, I want to see freaking Daisy Johnson in mm-hmm. there. I want to see Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica yeah. Jones. Infinity War is going to be insane. And if you're going to make it insane, please put the TV Here's, characters the in there. The only person I care about is Coulson. But at the same time... Coulson's I, I, such a good character. Also, but I don't want to see Coulson in the movies because he died. And I feel like you're cheapening that death by bringing him back in. He's already so, back in! No, no because... It's canon, bro. He has not been mentioned once since he died that's in true. any of the films. Because they don't know that he's alive. Which is... that's a, For me, that's an excuse they made so he could have a TV show. <laughs> true I, but then again that's also why they don't mention him yeah which is why i'm why but they could have pulled him in for any of these movies yeah for a cameo but they haven't because i feel like they're separating it and even the producer said he's the reason why he doesn't want to have all them is because they're they're bottom level heroes not daredevil's not powerful he's i mean he's daredevil's he, super powerful he, okay he could fight yeah and he has great senses he cannot match up with Thanos or anything that they're going to be dealing with true, Infinity War. True, but so, at the same time, you could say that about a few people in in in, in the... What is Hawkeye going to do to Thanos? What is freaking Scarlet, uh, Scarlet Witch going to do to... Uh, Black Widow, I'm sorry. Going to do to I, Thanos. I, Scarlet Witch has a has I power. agree with you, but... They're freaking Have shooting... Have you seen what they've Daredevil, done to Daredevil Hawkeye would, in these movies? <laughs> Daredevil would destroy Hawkeye. No, in a fight, I guarantee. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, but, Daredevil could even keep up with Captain America, bro. I'm telling you, Daredevil's a powerful dude. I don't know. Captain America could probably break him in half. Didn't Didn't easy. the Rooster Brothers recently say how many characters were going to be? They said a fi- lot, but they said uh, like like 67 or but something. I think also, it was 67. Another one. Someone else said I can't remember who it was that they're not going to bring in the it's, defenders it, it, it's gonna be hard to do Listen, i agree with i that. hope they do but charlie cox i hope I, he i, I hope, hope he they gets do man wish. daredevil and jessica jones mm-hmm. are two of the most incredible adaptations i've seen from comic to screen i haven't read yep. the alias comics having read those uh-huh. jessica jones comics that show is so well, freaking good. i have agreed with you because i love daredevil i think it's one of the best comic book things I've ever seen, I, but Jessica Jones after episode eight or nine kind of fell off for me and did not finish strong. Jessica Jones is a awesome show, and you are so wrong. <laughs> it's a very, I, I think it's a very good show. It's an. Awesome I want to go awesome. It's an awesome. I've show. never like when I start when I start siding with the not the bad guy but some of the badder characters. I'm not like what because are you doing? he's a compelling character. Yeah, You're, but it, it makes you such, side with him. She does such stupid things at times where I'm just like, come on. Because it's a human. Yeah, I know. Who makes mistakes? I get that, but sometimes <laughs> it's just. It, listen, I did. I liked it. I finished it, but it didn't finish as strong as Daredevil. Daredevil to me was. Daredevil, Solid, Daredevil to me through. is still better. Just I mean, because it's martial yeah. arts. Martial arts, man. <laughs> the fight card. You, if you yeah, you that. get me, bro. I was like martial <laughs> arts. I yeah. love it. All right, so let's move on. Next story. Uh, this is an interesting one. Tom Cruise officially signs on for Universal's Mummy reboot, opening in two, 2017. Now, I love the first Mummy with Brendan Fraser. I think it's a really good, entertaining film. I, I'm, I it, it's literally one of the movies I grew up with is was a Mummy. My brother and I would watch it all the time. I love that movie. That movie's so much fun. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And I mean, Brendan Fraser did a great job. It's yeah. one of the when I rewatched it last year for like the first time in a while. It really is one of the movies that gets closest to the original, like Indiana Jones kind of adventure fun feel. Yeah. It's not as good as Indiana Jones. No. But it's a good co- enough copy where I could be like, oh man, this is really fun. 
Now, I don't know what they're going to do with Universal. <laughs> Here's the thing. They tried doing this whole Dracula Untold thing, and they wanted to make it like a universe. Like the MCU is like the monster cinematic universe. Not the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Monster Cinematic Universe. And it was supposed to tie in. I don't know if they've like abandoned those ideas or they're, and they're just trying to make their own Mummy movie. I hope they have because Dracula Untold was horrible. I think they have to just because of Dracula Untold. I mean, but that, <laughs> I think that they movie, have no choice. Who I the mean, hell's talking about that movie though? Nobody. Exactly. Dracula Untold was basically, I think if they mm-hmm. mentioned, if you said, hey, what do, you, what do you think about Dracula Untold to Universal? They'd be mm-hmm. like, what? what? What's Dracula Untold? They would not acknowledge the existence of that movie. Yeah, I think for this Tom Cruise movie, I, I think it's not going to be like the mummy we saw. I think it's going to be a different More type of... More of a horror? Of, maybe. I think so. But Tom, I think it's that doesn't be... fit what Tom Cruise's go is. Like, if you told me it was going to be like the first mummy with Brent Fraser, I could kind of understand why Tom Cruise signed up for that. Wait. So we're talking about Mission Impossible here. Like, this guy loves adventure movies, man. I Take the first original mummy and replace Brent Fraser Tom Cruise. It's almost interchangeable. That's that's very true. That's so, very, like, I never, haven't thought about that. I don't know. Ex- it's so early. They Obviously, we don't know what their plan is. I could see them going for that same vibe and Tom Cruise being that Brendan Fraser heroic type true. character. I could see that. Um, I my Personally, I just really hope they're not trying to connect it with all these other characters because I don't think it worked. Especially if Jack Untold is your I, I, starting off point. I think, I think if they do try and do that, I think it's going to start with this movie. I think it's going to start with this movie. This movie movie is going to be the start of the cinematic Maybe. monster universe. By the way, is isn't Sofia Butella going to be the mummy? Yeah, I that's heard what there, I heard. There's rumors about yeah. that. Yeah, I think he's the only one who's officially signed on right yeah, now. Yeah, but when when they were mentioning the rumors of uh-huh. Tom Cruise doing it, they yeah. also mentioned that that's Sofia true. was going to do it. Yeah, too. Yeah, it was going to be female or something. Yeah, but who knows? It's still really early. Uh, but Tom Cruise is definitely signed on. It was one of those things when I first heard that story. I was like, oh, it's going to fall through. <laughs> Tom, I, but Tom Cruise it must be a really good script and it must really have a good idea to sell him so I'm ca- I'm cautious but optimistic for me Tom Cruise barely ever makes a really bad movie yeah I, and, he, and, and I love the, the, the mummy concept and stuff like that yeah. too so to me I'm excited for it and well let's get to some really good news <laughs> Paramount pulls Terminator sequel from schedule and uh, they repaired, they took that time slot they were originally going to do it and they replaced it with Baywatch which I think could be a fun movie The Rock but I'm listen. Terminator Genesis was horrible. Mm-hmm. Thank God. There's. I, I hope they're just throwing in the damn towel at this yeah, point. I don't know why they would want to destroy such an amazing franchise. I mean, they had to have known that they're making a terrible movie. Because to me, <laughs> the, the, I mean, the first two movies mm-hmm. are incredible movies. They're, they're so good. They're classics of their genre. Terminator One is like you can see the low budget times. Not all the effects hold up. But what James Cameron was able to do and make such a, ter- a great movie. But then he got the budget and made, to me, one of the... Terminator 2 is, will go down as one of the greatest action, action movies of all sci-fi time. films of all time. Yeah, I mean, here's my thing. Uh, talking about Terminator 1, I've seen T2 dozens and dozens and dozens of times. But remember, last time I was on GT Movie Things, months ago... Oh, you saw Terminator. I hadn't seen Terminator. You saw the first I one. I saw Termi- the first Terminator. Yeah. It's freaking awesome, dude. Oh, it's this, so good. It's... it's such well done sci-fi storytelling. Mm-hmm. It's ah, it's such a good movie, and man. Say what you will. It's good to see Arnold playing that just badass robot. Yeah. In part two, he's still badass, but yeah, he's like got this on the good relationship side. with the kid. Yeah. The first one, he is just menacing. Yeah. He has a look that would just like scare the shit out of you. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. Again, I'm glad. I hope they finally stick a fork in this thing. The only way, the only way you'll ever get me to go see another Terminator film. So if James Cameron himself is directing it, that's the only way. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen, the, man. I don't th- I, listen, he's so busy with Avatar. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised if he doesn't do another one. But listen, he got the first two. What if he, what if he executive produces it? No. <laughs> you want him to direct it. Unless the, Listen, the only thing that will bring my faith back into it, if it's not James Cameron, it has to be a really good freaking director. That's true. Because I can't, I can't. <laughs> the last two were directed by Mick G., and the guy, a Game of Thrones director who did a decent job with Thor: The Dark World. Yeah. But I think what's wrong with these movies are at core level. The stories are horrible. Yep. So, and at the core level, uh, Terminator One and Terminator Two are amazingly well told stories. Yeah. And well written stories. Uh, speaking of James Cameron Avatar Two, there's been a lot of release dates being jumbled around mm-hmm. in the last couple of days. Uh, first of all, we found out Star Wars Episode Eight has been pushed back to December. Which is huge news. Huge news. Um, I'm okay with it. You know why? Because I feel like they they almost took their flag and they stuck it in December. So you know what? 
this is just Christmas is Star Wars time. So why not just keep going with that release date? I mean, listen, they've made almost nine hundred million dollars domestically. Why not just keep that going? And it kind of is cool to have a you know you're gonna get a Star Wars movie every two years. Yeah, part of me part of me was a little disappointed when I first heard it because yeah, I really you don't wanna wanted wait. I wanted not not just to wait but I wanted to have the summer experience of Star Wars. I wanted True. it to be. It used to always some, come out in May. Yeah, I wanted the summer movie season, and then mm-hmm. you want to watch Star Wars. You're watching all these fun superhero movies, and you're gonna watch Star Wars. To me, that would have been so much fun. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with them moving it. Yeah. I think a part of it might be uh, like uh, production as well, and they might yeah. still be a little behind on production. I could believe that too. Yeah, like, I was listening to Christian Harrell talk about it on the podcast earlier today. He was saying like he's okay with it because maybe they need the time to get the story right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's listen as a director, if you're told you're getting six extra months, that means the world. I mean, you don't. The worst thing that can happen to a director is he he has a deadline that he's struggling to meet yeah if you give him extra six months that just guarantees the movie's gonna be better told better shot and it's just it's gonna he has more room to breathe and i think it'll make the movie all better now they moved it to december of that apparently around the same weekend as avatar 2 which was the king (laughs) and it's still the king of overall globally and it doesn't look like star wars is going to catch up to avatar no it won't but Imagine those two movies coming out. It's just not enough real estate. Yeah. Each, I mean, Avatar is going to take every theater. Just like Star Wars, they would both lose money. And it didn't take long. I think within 24 hours, Avatar 2 has been delayed. Smart on them. Smart, yeah. I'm, <laughs> you don't want to compete with Star Wars, man. <laughs> no, you not at all. don't want to do that. And uh, so I think it was a smart move. And again, I think, I'm curious how much love is still out there for Avatar. I really enjoyed my first thought theaters, but I will say when you watch it at home, something does get lost when you're not in that theater with that 3D and that big screen surround sound. And the story that's very familiar it just kind of comes more obvious. Not just watching. that, but the fact that it's been so long since the, mm-hmm. the first one. I mean, I, I don't know what year it came out, but it's been a, a while. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's I mean, been a few years. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many... I mean, obviously people will remember the yeah. franchise in itself, but excitement for a sequel should come pretty soon and they waited i mean obviously he was making so many movies yeah. so it's fair but it's been a while so i don't yeah. think it's going to be as huge a success as hey, cameron I, is hoping for i tend to agree with you but i know cameron this guy has something up his sleeve and he's going to do some new technology in a new way that we watch movies that will just same way the first avatar changed the way everyone was like this is why you have to go to movies who knows what this guy has up his sleeve? That's true. Man. Like, he, he might show a trailer that's like, you're in the fucking movie for all I know. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, okay. I'm watching Avatar I'm watching 20 Avatar. times. Yeah. <laughs> so who knows? Um, and again, because of this happened, uh, Star Wars got pushed to December. Mm-hmm. So Disney, who you know basically owns everything right now, has Pirates of the Caribbean 5 coming up. And they went ahead and put that in the Star Wars slot for the summer. Smart. One billion dollar franchise for another. There you go, man. That's <laughs> smart. The, I didn't even let, I did not enjoy Pirates Four. I thought it was a huge disappointment, but it still made over a billion globally. It's just I mean, it's name recognition at this point. Yeah, man. it really, it really is. is. Yeah, and Johnny Depp. I mean, he. I think he'll be remembered more than anything as Jack Sparrow. Yeah. So anytime you bring some of that iconic back to theaters, I think you know it's gonna make money. It's gonna make money. It's gonna make good uh, money. I'm hoping it's good, man, because. I, I listen. Say what you will about the sequels. I enjoy the first one a huge amount. Yeah, I could still enjoy two and three to a certain degree. They're just for the produ- production value alone. Like it's I incredible. just like putting yeah. it on my TV. It looks awesome. That's true. <laughs> uh, part four though, I can't say almost nothing good about it. No. Even even Giant Depp didn't know like he was. Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of down on that movie. Um, all right, and just quick. Any stories this week that really stuck out to you that you might want to bring up? Um, Anything off the top of your head? No, not off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, so you think we covered a good amount of it? I think we did, man. All right, well, let's see. I'll take a couple more looks and see what kind of stories we got going on here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the movies that are coming out this weekend. Okay. Because people are listening to us on Friday. We got the new wave. Uh, I love Chloe. You mean, you mean the fifth wave? The fifth wave. wave. The new wave is... Um, <laughs> Is that a, uh, is that a group a music group? Because if it's it, not, it, it should be. Probably is. I, we need to start our own group and call it the new wave. <laughs> yep. Um, so the, the fifth wave. <sighs> Listen, guys, if you're listening to this on Friday, the reviews have been horrible. 
the only reason you should go see is if you have a huge crush on Chloe Moretz and you just want to look at her for a while. Are you not a Chloe Grace Moretz fan? I mean, isn't she like 17? 18. Bro? She's 18? 18. I have a yeah. I have a countdown clock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was waiting for her to be eighteen. Uh, uh, um, she, I mean, she's a great. I, I love Cra- uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, but but um, she's yeah. yeah. I, I don't know why you would want to stare at her face unless you're another. She's 18. pretty man. She's if you're eighteen. Okay. Come well, on. Man. I like I like eighteen year olds. I guess. Come on. Man. <laughs> Beauty. Ho- no, I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other movies come out this weekend is The Boy. Which is a movie I'm not really looking forward to. Yeah, it's this the one is not, with uh, Lauren Cohen. This is not the Horror Fucks podcast. I am uh, not a huge horror fan. I listen. Don't get me wrong. I like horror films. I just feel like it's rare a really good one comes around. Yeah. The one I am really looking forward to that's coming out soon is The Witch. That It's a movie that came out in the festivals last year and got great word of mouth. Really? And it's gotten great reviews. I think it's like, last I saw it was close to like 87%. Who's, uh, who's in it? Um, no one real famous. It's a real like dark, gritty kind of takes place in like the old days like when witches were kind of like Salem and all that. Okay. But it looks really creepy. Check out the trailer. Oh, I have totally seen this sound. trailer. Yeah, I think oh, I have seen, seen Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You no, know, it looks super interesting for sure. Yeah, I know yeah. the the reviews we were getting were great. Uh uh so yeah, I'll be boy, waiting for that movie, but yeah, the boy, boy the boy or boy whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh shout out to Lauren Cohen, uh, yes, Walking Dead, Walking Maggie. Dead. She saw as her. a as a Walking Dead fan, I support their careers <laughs> yeah but i'm good i'm not gonna watch that movie. yeah i mean it, it could be good you never know but it, no, it seems I, like a low budget kind of simple kind of odd story but. yeah i mean i kind of agree like it might be simply fun in some ways but i just the, the whole de- dolls being creepy and coming to life it's just kind of outplayed for me it's That's something true. i've seen around since i was a kid yeah it, again if people start coming to me saying this movie's amazing then yeah all right guess what maybe yeah. i'll go give it a shot check it out but i need to hear some rave reviews from some of my friends before i even think about going over there yeah um and then the last movie i think of merit is of course dirty grandpa dirty grandpa i have no absolutely desire. no interest nope. in watching this movie yeah I this just... is another robert de niro paycheck and this is another... Here's the thing. You're making a comedy. There's nothing funny to me about Zac Efron. There's nothing funny to me about <laughs> uh, Rob De Niro. He, I'm, I'm, De Niro was great in Meet the Parents, but what else in comedy where you're like, oh, that guy's funny. And I will get Zac Efron. I thought he was good in Neighbors. Um, but, yeah, no. I'm good. He's not... No. He's not. He is a great ploy to Seth Rogen. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of Neighbors, Neighbors 2, the trailer came out this weekend. It did come out. Chloe yeah. Grace Moretz. Is in that too. Yeah, so yeah. these two both have movies coming <laughs> out where they're together, but they're going toe-to-toe this weekend. Yeah. I think that trailer looked great. I really enjoyed the first Neighbors movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, and I really dug the trailer. I think yeah. the ending is so funny. because The he, ending is hilarious. Yeah. Seth Rogen's like, stop it, you're making them <laughs> sexier. Yeah, he's basically escaping <laughs> from a bunch of girls' bikinis. Yeah. And then the wife like, while they're all on top of the car and he's locked in the car, the wife brings out a hose and is to like trying try, to scare try them to away. Like scare them away. And he's just she's just like lathering them up while yeah, he's out there. And then she, they all start dancing and stuff. Yeah, and he's, and like, he's like, "Stop it! You're making them sexy." <laughs> it was so funny, man. And then he's like smiling. He's like, "Yeah, stop it." Oh. Yeah, that was hilarious. So good. So I'm really looking forward to also, that. Also, um, yeah, the actress from uh, from Dope is in it too. Yeah, she was great in Dope. She was really great in Dope. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, "Where did I recognize her from?" Yeah, and I was like, "Cause I." I saw dope earlier this year and then literally it clicked i was like oh dope yeah and there she played like a high school lesbian so yeah she, was she like did covered up a lot of time yeah so when the seer in this trailer it took me a minute but eventually i was like yo okay i know what that is it looks like it'll be fun it, it might be a little too over the top and maybe doing the comedy sequel thing but i think it could be a lot of fun for sure yeah I and do. uh what, what is that guy's name hannibal burris yeah, he had a, he's in for like one scene in the movie, but he it was looks, great to see him back He looks there. pretty funny in this movie, too. Yeah, all right, man. Well, um, I think that's going to basically do it. Uh, this week wasn't too heavy on news. I think the DC thing was definitely the biggest thing going on this weekend. Cool. Uh, there's a couple other little stories, but nothing, I think, really worth talking about. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's it. That's going to do it for our very first episode of JT Movie News. Uh, Ace, thanks so much on uh, doing the show with me. And actually, Thank you actually you, had man. to make a commitment. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I guess I have to be here now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so let's do me a favor. Tell them where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me at Squad Leader Ace, which is an Attack on Titan reference, by the way. Okay, so, great. Because like everyone's like, why is it Squad Leader Ace? Attack on Titan, guys. Watch that anime. 
Awesome. Uh, you guys, catch me, Ashmos JTE. Again, as usual, box office breakdown every Sunday night on the Popcorn Talk Network. Also, we will be back with Schmoes No Phase 6 soon. Keep your eyes and ears open. You will hear something very soon. Uh, looking forward to getting back on that show and just start yeah. talking movies, everybody. Also, Screen Junkies, movie fights. Um, Screen Junkies Plus, I am the engineer. I do all the shows, and I do appear on some of the shows once in a while. I won yeah. my first round of movie fights. I won my first round of movie games with Jeremy Johns. I'm basically winning in all aspects of life, Ace. <laughs> You're basically Charlie Sheen right now, man. Yeah, Charlie Sheen in it. You're winning. <laughs> well, he didn't win it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> good point. Um, all right, guys. So do me a favor. Um, you know, if you like this, this is all going on my same channel as uh, JT Movie Thanks. But if you could go ahead and leave a five-star rating, if you felt like we gave you a five-star podcast, that'd be great. Leave some comments. And I think you and I need to come up with a way like for them to... Like, a movie thinks, I love to say, tweet me the last movie you watched. Okay. So maybe what we'll do from now on, I'll be right before we record these, I'll be like, tweet me any new stories you want us to discuss. Yeah, and then we I'm down ca- for that. Yeah, we could give a shout out to some of you guys on Twitter. And, you know, listen... We probably missed a couple stories. We probably missed a bunch of and, stories, uh, and everyone's going to be yelling at us. Yeah, and I want to hear. You know, I want you guys to hear us talk about what you want to hear about. So we'll start that next time, next yeah, week. Let's do it. All right, guys. So that's it. Thanks so much, and uh, keep looking out for that movie news. Hey, what's up? I'm not asking. I'm telling you. See, I'm rolling up my sleeves. There's this link right there. You go watch the behind the scenes videos. When you're done with that, you're gonna laugh your ass off some of these B Team videos. And don't forget the other podcast stuff, because that's stuff we do personally. Alright? Watch that shit.